Hunter x Hunter episode 9. Beware X of X prisoners. So no, Fukue Kitu no Shujin Tachito. Gotai go no battle or sentakista gon tach. And guns up. Tompa no more against the demolition expert. Thanks, Tompa. Thanks a lot. You know what? <laughs> I like developing conspiratorial ideas about Tompa. It's almost certainly not true. But the thought just occurred to me, like last episode I was saying, maybe he's a secret ace. He did actually save them by giving them the laxatives. Probably just a stupid accident, but possible, though unlikely. I just want to believe in the goodness of others. <laughs> Probably like a technician class. Unless it's literally using my head. God, just like yeet him into the pit. <laughs> don't don't play other people's games. McGon can't say no to a side quest. No. <laughs> Damn it, Gon. No, go no. You had this in the bag. You just told it he was weak. No, I mean, he's gonna make the short one burn longer. He can do that. Kurapika, I'm counting on you for this one. Right. But he would know they would think... I don't know. The, the amount of fakes and double fakes. All of this could have been avoided. All of this could have been avoided. All Gon had to do was knock him upside the head with his fishing pole. And that would have been that. We could have skipped this whole Bed Bath & Beyond arc. There's a very important lesson here. Games are only worth winning if it's the game you want to play. And you gotta ask yourself, what game are we playing here? Is there a higher game in which this game is a subset? The game they should be playing is passing the Hunter exam. This is actually shockingly personal to me. Not because... I don't like candles, but because the whole framework around this decision is based contains a very common pernicious problem where people, you know, working really hard, draining their resources to play games that have no real benefit to them, that they don't really care about victory in, and that somebody else has designed and probably wins either way. Like if someone draws you into their game, let's say it's an argument or people give you a choice, they're likely doing that to get what they need out of that, not what you need out of that, which may not be the outcome as it appears in the game, but maybe just wanting to like assert themselves or or vent aggression or to gain a feeling of superiority by dragging you down or whatever it is. Well, I think there, there is probably a mistake in sour grapes in a game that you actually really do want to play, that you really want the outcome for. It's also perfectly acceptable to choose to not participate in things that actually don't matter. Another example of that in the show would perhaps be Leorio, who like fights every battle he comes across. No, maybe Le Leorio's big game is answering to himself, liking who he is. Hey, hey. As I was saying. This is also wasting time. I think first instinct is correct. Choose the short one. <laughs> or yeet him off the pit. <laughs> yeet him into the hole you go. Off the cliff with you. That's wise. Gon has very good instincts and senses. I feel like even if Gon failed the Hunter exam, which he won't, he wouldn't even really care. He would just immediately be distracted by another thing to do, and he'd have a great time. <laughs> oh, interesting. <laughs> he just, maybe his basicness will save him. I, I believe in Gon. Wow, good on them for... Good on her, or him. Good on them, following through with that trust. He can also blow it out, right? Like, just blow out his candle. In candle we trust. Come on, long candle! This is... He's like, it's winning anyway. He's... How... You know what? Oh, wait. You know what actually would be genius for this guy? If both candles just took 72 hours to burn. Damn, they just played right into his hands. Even a normal candle would take hours, yeah. Really didn't think this one through. Why did you- why did you agree to this? <laughs> no one said you can't, like, attack him anyway. That wasn't part of the stipulations. There's no contract signed. He's perfectly happy here, just waiting. Huh?
<laughs> oh man, it's just so abundantly clear that this was a terrible mistake. To the bomb guy's credit, you really want to hook someone, you want to destroy them. Not only do you get them to play your game, but you get them to play a game in which you win either way, where you're masking the actual target. For example, distracting them with different candle lengths, when really that's irrelevant because you've rigged both of them to be able to explode. Yeah, it might be in both. There you go. This is a real thing. It's just harder to tease out an actual life. Alright, I think yeeting is probably your best option now. There you go. There you go. There, now we're talking. Yeet! More blood as candle. Somewhat less satisfying, but more ethical. I mean, that guy misplayed his hand by not just waiting until the last minute. He could have lost and still won. He won a game that he never had to play. <laughs> yes, we did it. Oh, right, there's still more. He was close, he was almost there. He really blew that one, that, that villain. Do not agree to their terms and conditions. I mean, this actually is very Dragon Ball. There's a whole arc, a puzzle arc. These are not the best examples, they're kind of limited, but just trying to think of ways in real life this comes up that are less obvious than the candle trick. People who ask, do you believe X or do you support X? The point is to subjugate you into a neat box so they know how to deal with you and can reduce your character beyond its natural complexity so that they can better cope and adhere to their existing model of the world and what it should be and their relative wisdom and knowledge in it. That's not always true, but it's often true, especially in really complex issues for where there is no simple answer. Answer. Two, in a relationship perhaps, somebody makes an accusation that you feel is not correct. You have seemingly a binary choice of fight or apologize, but depending on who the other person is in the situation, both might be losing strategies because the goal is not addressing the facts of the events that happened. The goal is power or attention or creating a test that you can't fail so that they can justify their own emotional state or the things that they want to do without having to take responsibility. I think in more cases than is immediately obvious, it's okay to say, I don't know, or to just not engage at all. Let people ride their own roller coasters. Ab battle. Who can shred cheese on these abs better? Abs. Kinda like his tattoos. Oh no, his tattoos like kill count? Was not expecting fraud and blackmail from, from him. Okay, alright. This is at least a little bit more direct. Yeah. Let's not waste time. Alright, no. Begin. I'm gonna beat you in these pajamas. He's the ones I can guessing. Muscles don't really mean that much in this kind of fantasy setting. I trust Kalua's instincts. Yeah, he's kind of a ham. I hope Kuripika one punches him. That was the trick? <laughs> Oh wait, is he one of the... Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, this just got personal. The trick up my sleeve. Emotional damage. This is good. Nah, I got it all wrong. His heart's not even in it. I mean, he's just already thinking about Kuripika forfeiting. Oh, there are the eyes. We haven't even seen this yet. We haven't even seen his full power. I think the one punch thing might might be on the table. <laughs> Good. Wow, he, he bounced. 
Got off easy, honestly. I even Clue was impressed. There's faking it. That's kind of a relief. It would be kind of whack if that group was just this guy. He can't hear you. <laughs> this is the kind of guy I'd always say, told you so. He wasn't wrong though. This could be a liability in the future. Whatever, I mean, use it. Got one for you too, Tampa. <laughs> you know, don't shape up. All right, that all adds up now, the whole fraud thing. He's just a big liar. The only honest thing about him was his name card. Likely that Leo Leo loses here. So we get Kalua. Who will just, you know, obliterate his opponent. I'm kind of hoping that if Kalua actually gets a chance to participate in that final round, he <laughs> chooses what game he wants to play. Because so far, the prisoners have set everything that they're doing. I'm wondering if maybe that like weird cart lady, the fortune teller woman who gave them the A-B choice, wasn't somehow like preparation for this whole thing. That was the, the precursor to this game. 